Hey fellow designers, it's Karen of Karen Gwen Customs. Today I'm giving you guys a very helpful tutorial on how to use Canva, which is the page I have open here, to create nice, clean, professional product flyers for your business. I'm gonna be showing you how to remove those cluttered backgrounds that you receive from customers, how to add a nice background to your flyer, and do some fancy, um, cute looking fonts. Just to be able to have something professional to post on your page to get your information out to potential customers. So if you've been looking for a way to make your own fancy flyers, stay tuned because this video is for you. But before you do, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Karen Gwen Customs, and be sure to join my group on Facebook, KGC Sewing Patterns. I look forward to seeing you guys there and stay tuned. First thing you're going to do is go to canva.com. They do have an app for your phone, but I find it easier to use it on the computer. So that's what I'm doing. You're going to go over here um, and hit create a design. And then it's going to ask you what kind of design. So I'm clicking on Instagram post because I want my design to be square. And you're going to be presented with a blank canvas like so. They also have um, different templates that you can choose to work with if you're starting from scratch. Um, I have a background that I prefer to use. And what you're going to do if you have your own pictures you want to use is click on uploads. And here you can see a lot of pictures that I previously used. I'm going to be showing you guys how to upload straight from your computer. So you're going to hit upload an image or video and then click device because you're uploading from your computer. Then you're going to go to wherever you have your picture saved. I have mine saved in pictures and then I have a folder called prom 2k20. And then here are the pictures that I'm going to be using on my um, flyer. Okay, perfect. So it uploaded all of my pictures for me at once. Okay, I have my photos uploaded and I usually like to use this um, picture here for my background, but I'm just gonna show you guys how to look up different backgrounds. If you prefer, you will click on the photos tab. And um, I think a lot of cute flyers have black backgrounds. You can see I already had typed that in, but you'll just type in whatever you're searching for. I typed in black. And this picture right here is kind of cute. Um, this is only available with Pro. So as you hover over the pictures, you'll see it'll either say free or Pro on it. I do pay $12.99 a month so I can get all the features. Um, but that is up to you. They do have a lot of um, nice features that are free. We'll use this one because it's free. So once you have your image that you want to use, you just want to center it over your square and drag it bigger and bigger until it's big enough to fill up your entire square. Then you're going to click off of it. Um, the next thing you're going to do is go back to your uploads and you're going to start um, inserting the photos that you want to use. So I have four pictures of clients in prom gowns from this past prom season and I'm just gonna click on one of them. As you can see, it should take this picture out on the street. It's not a bad background, but I have my black background on my flyer. So I want to remove all the extra, like the concrete and the cars and stuff for the background so that um, we can see her better. And so once your picture is in, you're gonna click on this button that says effects and then hit background remover. And as you can see, I have easily removed my background. I'm just going to crop this down so I have as little extra space as possible. And then I'm going to rotate it so that it looks like she is standing up straight. And I'll just place her in the middle right there until I figure out where exactly I want her to go. And next, inserting another photo. I will crop this down. Her background was pretty nice. She actually went to, I believe, the park or something and took pictures. But again, I want no backgrounds because I want everything to blend in with the back black background I chose. Hit effects, hit background remover. And here we go. 
So I'll just drag her picture where I want it to be and enlarge it until she looks about the same size. Make sure it looks like she's standing straight up and I'll place her right there. And then another picture. She also went somewhere cute to take her photos. Always appreciate that as a designer. Hit effects, background remover. Boom. Straighten her out. And enlarge. Now, because all of your pictures will have been taken <clears throat> in different places at different angles, it may be a little difficult to get all of your um, people to be the same size or to be proportionate to each other. Um, so just do the best you can, make it look as natural as possible. Effects. Background remover. Enlarge. Okay, so I'm gonna slide her over this way. I'll slide you over this way. And okay, so you guys see how the purple dress is all the way behind everyone else's dress. If you want them to overlap, you just click on whichever picture you want to kind of bring forward and then click position and hit forward. So you can see, I'll undo that so you can see. Okay, so when I hit position and then hit forward, this part is was the first part of the picture to come forward, but she's still behind the red dress. So you'll hit forward again. So now she is in front of the red dress and I actually think I like it better. No, actually, I'll leave it like that because I want the next dress to be covering hers. So now the mint green dress is behind the purple dress. So I'm going to hit position forward to bring her dress train back on top of the purple one. And then my pink gown over here. I think I'll put her backwards. Maybe she needs to be a little smaller. Yeah, so that's how you do it. And you kind of just play around with the positioning and sizing until everyone kind of looks like they were maybe in the same spot as each other when the pictures were taken, even though they weren't. And so I now have my black background with my four beautiful prom ladies. And I'm going to go ahead and add some more information. So now I'm going to move on and click the text button and I'm going to add some text. Um, if you hit here where it says add a heading, it will just add some plain text to your image. I'm going to undo that because I want to do something with like special effects on it. Um, if you scroll down, they have different... Um, pre-existing text effects that you can use. I think there's one called Glow that I really like. As you can see, they have like a lot to choose from. Oh, here we go. Okay, so Glow, I like that one. Add a little razzle dazzle to the fire. And I'm gonna call this from 2021 and you can change the color of it as well so right now it's like a hot pink I think I want it to be just white that's actually very bright I think, okay, so I'm gonna bring all these ladies downwards. And then 
I'm gonna add some plain text and cursive. So you'll just pick whatever font you wanna use. I like this one. And I'm gonna type my business name, Karen Gwen Customs. Sorry, yeah, I'm indecisive. I'm just trying to figure out. I already have a flyer, so I probably won't even use this one, but I'm still kind of picky. I'm gonna put this up here. And then I'm going to add the word by. And I will put that in cursive because I like cursive connecting words. actually my logo is transparent so you can only see it if it's in front of something because it's black so if you have a transparent logo logo as you should have and it's black like that you'll just want to take go to elements and get like a white square to go behind it Position backward. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, I'm just really indecisive, but you get the gist of what I'm trying to do here. Then you want to add in some more information about how people can book your services. So I'm just going to add some more text down here. And then, um, I don't like that. Center it maybe? Okay, that looks better. Then you want to put your social media handles. Um, so under elements, you're going to look for the logos for social media. So here is Instagram. You're just gonna paste that in, make it real small. And I'm gonna copy and paste that so I can have another text box. Karen Gwen Customs, that's my Instagram. Yeah. And I'm going to put a envelope for email. Can I change the channel? You have to wait, babe. Mommy will tell you when you can talk, okay? And then I'm going to put my email address. Uh -huh. I'm not putting my phone number because I hate phone calls. And I cannot give you an accurate price over the phone without seeing what you exactly want. So yeah, line all that up and make it look nice. If you want to add more social media contact information like your Facebook, um, you can also look up a Facebook logo. I like that one. Another text box. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so, and then I got a little extra space. Actually, I kind of want to make all of these smaller. That is better. And I'm going to make my logo bigger. Leave a little more space between the edge and maybe make this bigger. I was trying to see if I could just add in a few little cute elements just for extraness. And this is totally optional. I just wanted to add something extra. Really, we could be done at this point. And a lot of you saw the flyer that I posted before on my Instagram. And how like when it when I posted it, it kind of everything on the page jumped. And how I did that, just to close this out, I click on the animate button. And then you can hit pop. Now, some of these are only available with Pro, so the pop function is only available with the $12.99 a month subscription, but here are some of the other ones. That's Block. That's Breathe. That's kind of cute. Fade. Pan. Rise. All of these are cute, actually. Which is anything with these? I just wanted to have some extra stuff on here. You like extra stuff, me too. I want the one stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna have mine as pop because I just like how that looked. And yeah, that's it. So then you're gonna hit download. It's gonna download as a video. You can also download it as a JPG or a PNG if you just wanna have it as a plain image that doesn't move. And I'm just downloading it there so that I have it on my computer. Um, and then I'm also going to go on my phone. Um, if you have the Canva app on your phone, everything you do on your computer will also be available on your phone. So I'm going to go um, download it on my phone so I can post it on Instagram and everything. But um, anyways, that is how you do a Canva flyer DIY free, easy fast and the possibilities on how you can make your um, flyer look are just endless. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and that it was helpful for you. If you plan on doing your own flyer, leave it in the comments below. If y'all want to drop your um, social media handles in the comments below so we can take a look at your flyers, feel free. And again, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube. When you hit the subscription button, please tap on that notification bell and change the preferences to all so you get notified every time I upload one of these awesome videos. And um, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Okay, last thing. I don't know why that took so long, but when it finally finishes um, saving, it's going to just do like an automatic download in your browser and um, all you do is just click on it and there it is. So it opens as a little video and it's five seconds long. Pop. So that is the flyer.